Reconciling is your tool for correcting mistakes or uh, adjusting jobs in the system to reflect uh, how they are in your racks or on a truck, what have you. A good example is, uh, say you received some, say we received this 90, we ordered 2,880 feet and we estimated that to be 90 joints, but when we get the bill of lading, it's actually 89 joints. So we want to accurately reflect that um, that bill of lading in our system. So to do so, you can right click on a job and hit reconcile. This opens up the reconcile uh, window. Uh, as at the top, you'll see the job number and the uh, part number that we're working with. In the middle, you have all the transactions. And down here, you have some, uh, some different options. We're only going to go over correcting transaction and setting the current balance. So in this case, we're going to correct the received transaction. Since we assumed it was going to be 30 joints, or uh, we assumed it was going to be 90 joints, but it's, uh, in reality, it's 89. So since we brought it up on three trucks, we'll see the, that the original receive was 30 joints. So we're just going to take one off. We're going to select the transaction that we actually want to correct. Then down here in the joint count, we're going to type in 29 since we're taking off one joint. And in the new total feet, since we know the average was 32, we're just going to do a little bit of math. Uh, let's see, it's 29 times 32. Give you an average of 928. All right, and here we're going to, uh, it's always a good idea to, to type in why you're, or comment why you're uh, doing it. So we're reconciling to bill of lading. All right, once you double check everything, you can finish the reconcile. And the, the powerful thing about this tool is that when you correct a transaction, it not only fixes the, the transaction register, but everything that happened, all the transactions that happened after that one will reflect the change. So if we ship from this job after we received it and then go back and uh, reconcile the received transaction, all those other jobs are going to reflect that. All those other transactions are going to reflect that. So we're going to go ahead and finish reconcile. Now we can see the total comes to uh, 89 joints and our bulk joint has also, our, uh, our bulk footage has also changed. Any questions on that one? That's how you uh, reconcile a transaction. And, uh, if nobody has any questions, I'll show you one more. Um, and then we'll go into a little bit of the transaction register. And then we'll be done. All right, I'm not seeing anything, so I'm going to go ahead and move on. All right, so another use for the reconcile tool is uh, for hard counts. So we have our system here in OCAUSE is showing 89 joints on rack A2 of this uh, 2 and 3 eighths uh, tubing. Let's say you go out and you go out to your yard and actually do a hard count on rack A2, and you find that you actually have 88 joints. Um, you can use reconcile to to quickly adjust that so you're not having to um, you know, ship or receive any more joints or anything like that. So again, you can just right click on the job and hit reconcile. And this time, instead of saying correct the transactions, we're just going to set the, this job's current balance. Since we don't necessarily know um, where that other joint is or uh, when it happened. Um, so here, all you have to do is set the new total feet and the new joint count. It's pretty simple. Um, so we said it was 88 instead of 89, and an average of 32 feet, that is going to be 2,816 feet. Okay. Again, always comment. In this case, we're reconciling to a hard count. Me too. There we go. And you can hit finish reconcile. Now you have the new bulk joint count 
and uh, bulk footage count. Um, and that's a that's an easy way to reconcile your racks uh, if you have mistakes or do hard counts or what have you. Um, so yeah, that's the that's the basic uh, concept behind reconcile. As you saw, there's more options to those. Uh, you can do things like void transactions, but that's really, really advanced functionality, and we don't necessarily recommend that you guys uh, go in with that. So this, with those two reconcile functions, you can do uh, pretty much what you need to.